All right, Bowman draft case 32. Here's your teams. Cubs, Cardinals, Indians, Brewers, Rockies, Astros, and Royals, Athletics combos. So why is it so good? Well, there's three title fights, and the, the big one is the Colby Covington Usman. That fight is like one of those ones where like I don't know who's gonna win. They're yeah, both like, That's always good. They both seem to be on fire and like unbeatable lately. You know, because Usman beat uh, Tyron Woodley, who was the champ forever. And he, he just like just annihilated him. Not even like he punched, you know, like a one punch knockout. He just yeah. dominated him for like the entire fight. And Woodley had been dominating people for years. And then Covington, you know, Covington. Colby Covington. Yeah, I don't really know either of those guys. Oh, God. Covington's like trash talking, whatever, but he's also been backing it up. And Oh, yeah, then we have tables, ladders, and chairs on Sunday. Oh yeah, I pretty much haven't been watching any wrestling for. I actually caught a few minutes of uh, <laughs> NXT the other day. Oh yeah, Mikey's guys were fighting. Oh, the fending, uh, Brizango. Brizango. Yeah, they're the best. I should be watching NXT. Who was it? Was somebody else that? I don't remember now. Yeah, Max Holloway is fighting um, a really good guy. <coughs> Max Holloway is like. Besides that one time he tried to move up and didn't win, but he in his weight class he like killed everybody. He's really fun to, you know, super high volume striker. And then uh, Amanda Nunez is fighting. She's always amazing. Seth Johnson for the raise to start Neil. And Uriah Faber's fighting an up and comer. You know, he unretired. Hmm. And he won. Surprised a guy and like knocked him out. I didn't hear that either. Really? Yeah. No, I, I mean, I don't pay a while any ago. attention. Like, he'll get killed tomorrow, though. Well, I mean, everyone thought that last fight, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get killed. How old is he? He's gotta be forty. Yeah, Mike Perry, my favorite fighter is Mike Perry is fighting. I love Mike Perry. Oh, Andrew Vaughn draft breakdown to ninety nine. Chew your white socks. Um, who else? Mike Perry has a tough fight. He's an underdog, I think. I saw. Nova. Um, the old, the old uh, champ before Conor McGregor. He's fighting. He's apparently had like a brutal weight cut, but he made it. Uh, oh yeah. I saw What's that. his name? Aldo? Yeah, Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo. Fitter. Yeah, Platt and Perry. Yeah, because I saw a picture of his face. Yeah, he he's like an old, old, old dead guy. He's a legend. Yeah. That was like... <laughs> that was my... Oh, it's Morice. Oh, God. Yeah, Morice is really good. That was my most memorable... UFC moment ever because we like ordered the McGregor Aldo fight and like that was crazy it ended in like yep it w I watched it here My, some friends came over it was a Joey Bart blue oh it's a bot it's a per the card is loaded it might be the there was one this summer that was really good now I can't remember what it was but I can't remember I remember only one card maybe this entire year that was as good as this one I heard, yeah, I saw a picture of it. Brady McConnell for the Royals. Chew. There's another fight in there, too, that was pretty good. Um, You know, I told you, well, obviously, I told you a thousand times I got the weighted blanket. I think you're right. Oh, you did? Yeah. 
I think you're right that the it's kind of crushing my shoulders even more. I'm sleeping on my side. Yeah. Shoulders hurt more. Every once in a while, I'll wake up and like I haven't turned over or anything. I'll, like I'll realize that and like my whatever shoulder I'm sleeping on is yeah. like killing me. Oh, Andrew Vaughn autograph box topper. And the White Sox chew. Oh yeah, I actually They're brought fun. those things in here. Huh. The rare autograph box topper. Yeah, that's only the second one we've gotten now. 30 plus cases. Yeah. Blue Wave Auto. Kendall Williams. Little German. You got an autograph in Bowman Draft tonight, little German. If you're still listening. I would say in order of my interest in the fights, the hype level of uh, Usman and Covington is like 10 times better than in the second fight. Because I think Amanda Nunes is a murderer, she always does. Even though Jermaine Durandame is good, she's tough and she's a good striker. There's just nobody, nobody can touch Amanda Nunes. She's so much better than anybody else, at least so far. And then the, uh, I don't know, Max Holloway. I don't know why he doesn't. He doesn't do it for me. His fights are entertaining. He'll be a good fight. I'm just not like. Uh, there's an Abram. The draft progression for the Padres with Abrams heaters. Well, man. I can't get the memory out of my mind of what Usman did to. To, uh, Woodley, like I just can't. Unless Woodley was just quit or was hurt or Neil. I don't know. I can't see how he's gonna lose, but that's what I. I don't know who's gonna win. I really don't. That's why it's an amazing fight. Plus, like either guy who loses, they've both been talking so much crap. It, like. Either guy who loses or wins, like it's gonna be super. Yeah. I think whoever loses, cause it's gonna be a wrestling thing mostly. They're both kind of wrestling ground and poundy guys. Prado. I think it'll be a. It won't be a. There won't be a finish. It'll be a decision. I think. And then, I mean, everybody thinks that probably. And whoever loses, I bet it'll be pretty close. And whoever loses will say he won. And, yeah. And he got imposed by the judges, and they'll do it again. I don't know if... Uh, wait, has Woodley fought someone else since he lost to Usman? I don't think he has. And I can't remember who else is around the top that would get get the next shot. Royce Lewis blew. to see Covington get smashed in the face. <laughs> Lipsis. Lips Lipsius. Sorry. Yeah, on any of those uh, those like constant trash talk things, you always got a side, you know. Oh, Masvidal, yeah. I don't think Masvidal's on the level of either of those guys. So why is he the better of the... Or why is Covington or whatever the worst of the trash talkers? <clears throat> you don't want to know. Oh, okay. Tyler Freeman, blue paper. Was there no auto in that one? What? No auto in what one? How many total autos? Do we there have? were six in there. Oh, okay. Or there, I mean, there have been we six. We have six. Well, seven Plus the box the topper. <laughs> Nunez versus Mickey Rourke. Espino. I'm surprised you haven't heard about Covington. Armenteros, gold. <coughs> no, I didn't do 19 chrome. I thought about it. 
most of the sports news I get is so specific now. Oh yeah. You know, like I'm not like watching Sports Center or your teams. Know, yeah. Certainly not watching any like UFC breakdown shows or anything. Nick Quintana Blue Wave Auto for the Tigers. Yeah, the, I looked at the UFC 19 UFC Chrome checklist. I was trying to figure out like pricing fighters, and it's basically like Macy Barber is, you know, anywhere from 50 to 75, or Brian would probably pay 150, and then every other fighter is like a five dollar fighter. It just doesn't. I couldn't really get it to work. One second. She's definitely the... Oh. Some other interesting names, Kyle McCann. I guess. Well, it was cool because Askren, Ben Askren, has an autograph in there, but he retired. So, I think I did hear that. Now that I see it. C.J. Abrams first Bowman, light blue. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty over the top with his trash talking. And sometimes it's like, like he admitted, I guess he admitted, uh, <laughs> Chris, what up? All, everything's base heavy now. Yeah, it's been weeks of base heavy yeah, breaks. Every Chris. product that's out is all base. We're elbow deep in packs over here. Ryan Jensen for the Cubs. Certified Prince. Um, I guess he admitted that he's basically like, you know, in, in character. A lot oh, of yeah. It's, it's relentless. Kyron Paris. Serious Chef Refractor Auto. Sounds like defense in a divorce <laughs> yeah. hearing. But he's good at being, you know, his character, whatever he's doing. It's working. He's, yeah, he's good at being the guy that everyone wants to see get punched in the mouth. Of. Yeah, I guess. Well, a lot of people like him. It's like half the country likes him and half the yeah. country does <laughs> well, Probably more than 50-50 in that uh, fan base. Quintana. Yeah. Chris Mixer. Oh, I didn't. Christian Robinson. The other fighters want to kill him. Like they, that's why that fight's going to be so good. that oh the Chris mixer or the UFC I don't even have a Chris mixer I don't know what it would would be in a Chris mixer is Benny still awake we might have to move Benny's breakup that didn't sound good can we move Benny's breakup to Thursday <laughs> Josh Smith base auto. I remember the Chris G mixers were like, he liked uh, maybe some triple threads, five star, Bowman. 
Jack, I'm not even going to attempt his last name. It's not Bomania, yeah. Bomania, Bomania, Bomania. Oh, wow, they almost had a steal there. Sparkles Auto? No. Andre Palante. Yeah, these ones, <clears throat> the last couple cases haven't been, haven't all been in the same place. Mm -hmm. JJ Goss. Oh, the Super Jumbo. That's the Super. I haven't done any Super Jumbos yet. Yeah, but you've had, you, you know, you're tired out. Benny's young, full of energy. Doris Burke. You already Valdez Blue, JJ Blade, class of 2019. See you to Benny, your Marlins. Yeah, Jules just messaged me and she's like, I'm watching the new Mandalorian. Let me know when you watch it. And I was like, oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. I forgot about that. Leo Rodriguez. Is the show just going to be him going to different places and doing something and then going to the next place? Probably. So far. Yeah. I do, part of me wishes there was a little more of like <laughs> Gold Rush. You still watching Gold Rush? Is that still on? Man, I, I should get a binge binge some gold rush the hoffmans are not on it anymore oh josh smith refractor auto then why would you watch tim h they do still make it i think make parker it. like actually gets gold from my dad watches it of course it's... product back order two back orders what happened negative two spots in prism wow Looks like PayPal had some trouble uh, telling my site that people paid. Canceled order to receive. Canceled order to receive. <sighs> Gonna have to kick out a couple people from the prison break. That's not good. It's 43 minutes, Mandalorian? Oh, really? Wait, how many episodes are left in the first season? Is this six? Because I thought someone said the second to last episode is the 20th. So is this the third to last episode? Yeah, I think this is six of eight oh, okay. this week. How long do we have to wait for the next season? Oh, probably only like ten months or so. Uh. There's a, apparently an Obi-Wan show. Oh, yeah. With, uh, <clears throat> you know, Ewan McGregor. Oh, wow. I think he's in it. Eight episodes total? Oh, so the last episode is the same day as the new Star Wars movie. Or did you say this is six? This oh. is six. Okay, yeah, seven, eight. Ryan Nelson. Big sequence there. Seth Johnson purple autograph for the Rays. Neil? I was just thinking the same thing, Jupes. I'm like, okay, I already watched a couple Avengers movies, and if Mandalorian's not on, like, why? I won't even watch the movie. Yeah, I wonder how long... I don't know if that Obi-Wan show is supposed to be out, like, in the spring. Or, you know, it might only be a couple months. Or... Shark Sitch, your reds. Yeah. <laughs> First baby Yoda. Sell like Dynasty, yeah. Purple Cooper Johnson. Did you guys get the baby Yoda first? First baby Yoda card tops now? I got one. They're like 20 bucks now. Really? Last time I checked. Who's that? Oh, it's a refractor. Tassan Brown Green. <coughs> yeah, yeah, the top snap. Well, they did like a five-card set of the show. They do one every week, every uh, episode. 
but the first one he appeared in. Yeah, I have one. I don't know where I put it. I think it's right next to you there, isn't it? No, I think I took it out. A uh, Tigers franchise futures to 250. Benny, how late? Yeah, baby, you had a rookie card. How late are you staying up, Benny? Should we move your NT Immaculate up so you can see it next? Everyone okay with that? Isaiah Campbell. JJ Goss. Rays. Bunch of hits. Same guys over and over again, but. I think we should do this next. What? Yeah. It's quick. Yeah, it's a short break. First time break. <laughs> okay, Chris. What's the weather like out there, Chris? Blue Braden Shoemake, first Bowman. Yeah, they do. I have some of them over here. Where are they? Delivering the bounty, backup arrives. This is the way. Returning to the coin. Oh, there's he's right there. Yeah, I was gonna move NT up for Benny because it's probably I don't know how late he's gonna be able to stay up. So he didn't get to see his first one. Fifties. <laughs> Is the Kings game? Probably seven. Seven. Now we're taking tomorrow off. We are backed up on base heavy breaks that need to be sorted. Cameron Misner, man, we never get him. See to Benny. Oh, that one's live? Yeah, blue Cameron Misner. I think isn't like didn't the one that we got was a redemption, wasn't it? Sounds right. Because <clears throat> he was on a, he's been on like a dual autograph that we've gotten. So. Oh. What's up with Misner Jupes? Orange D L Hall. He's always that white looking autograph. Little German. Another hit for a little German. Grizzlies are beating the Bucks. Wow. Jaron Jackson Jr. He just hit a three. Clark Schmidt. I think Giannis was playing today, too. Adley Refractor. Yeah. I'm sure. It's only the third quarter. Sure the Bucks will end up winning by 10. Hopefully, Jaws having a good game at least. Wow, another one. Oh, Jaws not even playing. No, I just showed him the street clothes. Jake Sanford <laughs> Refractor Auto. <laughs> Have we had a bunch of Jake Sanford, or is it other Yankees? Uh, I don't think we've had a ton of them. In this, I thought in this case we've had like three Yankees. Oh, uh... We got a Josh Smith. Oh yeah, Josh Smith. Grizzlies fans are going wild. Two Josh Smiths. Yeah. 
blue autograph? Blue wave autograph? No. Ryan Nelson. Never remember how many autographs we've got. Just banked in at like a straightaway thirty-five foot three. Wow. Man, he still looks so young. He's hit three threes in a row in the last one. I thought he's gonna be really good. Last. We should buy some Jaron Jackson. Here. There they go again the other way. Oh, Deep Vincenzo out there. Mm -hmm. He's been getting some minutes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Watch this one. Was that a bank? I think that was the one. Or maybe this was. <laughs> yeah. He can't miss. Redemption. Sparkles Refractor Parallel. Hunter Bishop. Wow. Tim H. That's a good one. paper. Oh, he finally missed one. He is human. <clears throat> yeah, it's Bowman draft time of the year, so the chat's pretty empty. <clears throat> Bowman, Bowman draft. Everyone runs and hides. More sparkles. Evan Fitter. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're in luck because we're moving NT up and we're doing it next. <clears throat> Evan Fitterer purple. There's a plate of Blake Walston. There's an auto behind that. Matt Walner behind that. Tim A. Uh, yeah, yeah, BD12. Dunbacks, Tim. Blake Walston. Matt Walner base auto. I didn't see the new tra trailer for Curb. I saw the watch last season. I'm not sure I saw all of the last season they made. I know, yeah, really it's the gifts that kill the chat. Dalton Varsho Green. <laughs> see, there are <laughs> only up three already. Yeah. Alejandro Kirk. It's like good teams just find ways to get easy buckets and against bad teams. He passed Jordan for the twenty. How long is Wilt? I didn't. I didn't. I heard about Jordan, but I didn't know the Wilt one. Seth Johnson again. Freaking race, Neil. I watched the first episode of last season and I didn't like it. It just felt weird. I know the gifts are magical. Yeah, no more Funkhauser. He was the best part. Oh, yeah. about Luca is there's no one to compare him to really like you wouldn't compare him to Jordan at all. 
yeah, I guess like oh weirdly God. the only person you can really compare him to, I guess, is LeBron. Yeah, because he's like a driver, but he and he he shoots like step back threes. Though LeBron was he does some of that. Yeah. Probably do it. Oh, Matt Cantorino. We can always count on him. Tim. Cantorino might have to be in that eight ball. If we're doing draft and then mixer. Yeah. I always think of uh, that's a blind song. Yeah, Santor Santoria. I don't practice Cantorino. Mm hmm. Do you think he's like Larry Bird? Langoliers purple. Yeah, I don't remember watching Larry. Well, but when Larry Bird was playing, I was watching, but like, you know, it wasn't like now where you could just watch a guy. Yeah. I barely got the end of his career. Also, it's just not like they're not even playing the same sport that Larry Bird was playing. <clears throat> yeah. Like we think of Larry Bird as like a great three-point shooter, but wasn't there like not even a three-point line? For <laughs> Noah Song, purple. Neil, your Red Sox. Uh, yeah, I don't know when they started <clears throat> that. Like the most he ever made would be like 50th in the league now. Yeah, he is the European style. Bo Phillip. I don't know though. I still don't think Luke is going to be that good because the Kings didn't even pick him. They picked yeah. Bagley, so pretty sure they must Bagley, have known something. Yeah. Pretty sure Bagley's better because Vlade picked Bagley, so I'm going to have to side with him. Track record speaks for itself. Jury's still not out on Luca if he's any good. Sure, yeah, he's had you a hear, like, the couple 20, 30, 50, 40 point. Oh, uh, yeah. One or two 40 point triple doubles, and everybody's all over him. I want to see it for 10 or 15 years. There's a Riley Green photo variation. Did you hear the re like the alleged reason that Vlade didn't want him? He, like didn't get along with Luca's dad or yeah, something I read that. back in the day. Tyler Callahan. That one was on the other day. I don't think that's only. Another game from Milos. Purple Andre Lipsius. Shea Langoliers. Really? You got a ton of crap for that? I don't believe that. I don't remember that. We have those chat logs. We yeah, can find I should go look. <laughs> the one from Milos. What did people say? Like, no, he's going to be garbage. Get him out. I printed them all out. Get out. Where's my file cabinet? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, well, yeah, there may have been people who were Luca haters in the chat. I thought you meant me. I was like, man, I don't have... I don't remember having that strong of an opinion. I don't know. I could very... It's very possible that I... I have no idea. I don't think I would have pretended I was an expert on it. I don't think you were here then. Or you were in the chat, maybe. Yeah, I could have been in the chat. What oh, up, Jackie? There's one more base auto, too. Hunter Bishop Sparkles. Green Seth Johnson. Blue Misner. Williams Blue Wave. Quintana. Okay, good. I was going to say, come on. Johnson Purple, Song Purple, 
Sanford Smith Paris Lipsius. I mean, the worst I can remember me doing is saying like, well, maybe Bagley will be really good. But I never, I definitely never thought like Bagley's gonna be amazing and Lucas gonna suck. I have no idea. Yeah. JJ Bladé. But I, I do remember you being strongly for Luca. I'll give you credit for that. Shay Langoliers. From the very beginning, you did say they'd all regret passing on him. Rue the day. Yeah, he, you did say that. I think some people were just thinking like, you know, Rubio and some guys where you're like, I know he's, you know, was way better than Rubio ever was, and, but people are scared of like white guys well, playing basketball. And he was like an 18 year old that had played professional basketball for like two years or whatever. Yeah, it was know. different. But I'm saying like the average person probably figured like, oh, nobody comes over from Europe and is any good. Yeah. Well, I mean, even Luca, like, <clears throat> it's hard to be like, oh, well, he was, even if it is the best league in Europe or whatever, you can't yeah. just be like, oh, well, he was great there, he will be great here. He is, but he definitely is. Blake Walston plate. I just don't think you could like know that. I guess. But Some people seem to. Yeah. Oh yeah, that too. That was this case. Oh yeah, Andrew Von box topper autograph, and also non first Bowman color paper. And Riley Green photo variation of franchise futures for the Tigers and of draft progression for the Padres.